Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you're new to my channel, I talk about interior design here every week. Now, 2021 is almost here, which means Benjamin Moore has come out with their 2021 color palette. I am here to give you my overall impressions of the palette. I'm going to break down each of the colors, and most importantly, I'm gonna talk about a few different ways that you can combine the colors to create your own palette that's gonna work for your home. Let's get started. So first of all, I wanna give you my overall impressions of the palette. So overall, I think Benjamin Moore did a really good job with this year's 2021 color palette, and here's why. I think for the last like five to 10 years in interior design, we have seen a lot of gray, we've seen a lot of grayish, and a lot of cooler toned colors. So I think it's a really nice change of pace to see, although I do love say like Metropolitan, which is like a really beautiful color, and I think was their 2019 color of the year. It's a beautiful color, but Colors like Metropolitan are a little bit on the cooler side, and sometimes it's nice to bring a little bit of warmth into the palette. So uh, overall, I think they really did a good job. Now let's go through each of the colors individually, and then I'm gonna give you sort of my impressions on how you can pull some of these colors together to form a palette that's gonna work for you. Okay, so first let's talk about Atrium White. Now, Every year, Benjamin Moore always puts out at least one, if not a couple, of off-whites. And this year, they just decided to go with the one, and I think it was the right choice for this palette. So Atrium White, if you compare it here with Chantilly Lace, which according to Benjamin Moore's website, they say is a white paint that has very little undertone uh, to it. So it's really close to a kind of neutral, true, white. So if you compare it to Atrium White, you can see Atrium White is a lot warmer. It's got a lot more of a like sort of pinkish undertone to it. And I think that really fits with the rest of this palette. So next up is Muslin. Uh, muslin is a really beautiful, warm, uh, it's not an off-white, but it is sort of a really, really light beige. I think it's just really soft and it doesn't have too much of that yellowy orangey feel to it, which I think is quite nice, but it definitely leans on the warmer side. I think it would really fit in like a Scandinavian space or just it's overall like a really just modern beige color, which I think works really well. Okay, so next up, let's talk about Foggy Morning. So Foggy Morning is a really light pale pink. It reminds me a lot of First Light, if you remember from the 2020 color palette for Benjamin Moore, that was their color of the year. Um, and I think Foggy Morning is probably going to fit a lot better with more people's um, interiors. So it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit softer. First Light was very pink. Well, this is much more of a really paler, softer uh, pink. It's also got a lot of gray in it, so I think it's a little bit more subtle, it's a little bit more toned down. Okay, now next up is Rosy Peach. Rosy Peach is very, they call it peach, but to me this is very red. Um, it's a really warm color and sort of really speaks to the rest of the palette. So this is a color that I think is probably not gonna fit in everybody's home, but I can see why they picked it for this palette because you can bring it together with a few different other colors, but it really leans red, so you really gotta make that commitment. And red sometimes, like some of these other colors on the list, are a little bit harder to pull off in the home. Next up is Beacon Hill Damask. Beacon Hill Damask is a very pale yellow. Yellow, like red, is sometimes quite difficult to pull off in tears, especially when it's this overt, when it's not just really subtle. Beacon Hill is a little bit softer. It's a little bit of a pale yellow. Um, I think it could really be beautiful in some interiors, maybe if you're going for like a nice warm kitchen, I think that could work really well, but it is kind of really committing to yellow. Um, it could also be really beautiful in like a kid's room or a baby's nursery, something like that. I think it would also work really well there too. The next up is Chestertown Buff. Chestertown Buff is a, in, I think it's a more saturated version of Beacon Hill Damask. It's very, very similar. It's obviously going to be the same part of the color wheel, uh, but it's much more rich. It's much more of a deeply saturated yellow. Um, in my opinion, it's probably going to be uh, less likely to find a place in your palette, but they could also work really well in a modern chromatic color scheme. Um, but again, that commitment to yellow, you're starting to really see those warmer tones really being brought in though. Like these, these two are a really good example of that, right? They're really obviously yellow. Okay, the next up is Potter's Clay. I think you're probably really starting to see now how warm this palette is. Uh, it's kind of got some orangey undertones. It's kind of this rich brown. Um, I think it's kind of like this brown taupe, but it's got a little bit of this orangey undertone to it. So again, this really speaks to the warmth of the palette. Okay, so next up, let's talk about Amazon Soil. So I think those colors uh, that are really red and peachy and orangey and yellow definitely speak to the warmth of the palette. This one I think is a really interesting one. I actually really love Amazon Soil because it's 
a mauve, but it's like a really deep, rich purple. Um, definitely has some kind of brownish undertones to it. I think because it's got those brown undertones, I think it sort of really works with this warmer palette. And also because there's also yellows that are in this color palette as well, and purple and yellow are complementary. Uh, that's kind of another way that I think you could bring this together, but it's a really beautiful color. Okay, so next up is gray cashmere. Now I really, really, really love this color. This actually reminds me a lot of Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt, which is a color that I have in my bedroom. So it's got this green and blue undertone to it, but it's still got a lot of gray. I think this color is really beautiful on walls, especially rooms that get a lot of natural light. So sometimes when you have a room that has a lot of natural light, if you just put a white paint on the wall, it can sometimes look really blown out. So something like this gray cashmere has a lot of depth to it. So it's kind of a little bit more, it's still fairly light, um, but because it's got that depth and that color, it's not gonna look as blown out as if you just put a white on the wall. So I think this is a beautiful color. I think it also ties really well in a monochromatic color scheme with the color of the year, which I'll get to in a minute. Okay, next up is Kingsport Grey. Uh, this is a really beautiful grey paint that is got some sort of brownish undertones, which I think is what makes it work for the rest of the palette. So again, you're seeing kind of like, remember Atrium White was a white but warmer. This to me is a gray that's also airs on the side of being a little bit warmer because it's got that brown undertone to it. So it's really this gray brown sort of color that I think is really beautiful and I think works with many different colors in this palette. So next up is Silhouette. Silhouette is to me one of the most gorgeous colors in this collection. I think it's kind of nearing closer to a black but it's got some brown purple undertones to it. It's the darkest color I think in this collection. Um, I think it's really gorgeous and I think it works with a lot of different colors in this collection as well. So I think you are seeing a lot of these sort of purple undertones coming through because it's complementary to some of the warmer tones that are out there. Also could work really well in an analogous color format with some of the blues and greens that we also have in this palette like gray cashmere and Aegean teal. And finally we have Benjamin Moore 2021 color of the year which is Aegean teal. So I'm not actually really super surprised that they went for this color. I, it is quite a saturated teal. I think something like a gray cashmere is going to probably work more in a lot of spaces, uh, especially if you're looking for a little bit more subtlety in your paint colors on the walls. But I do think Aegean teal is a really gorgeous color. And it's not surprising also because you see this color trending in lots of different places. So for example, I was just at Le Creuset the other day and they've come out with a color called deep teal, which is very similar. That's new for this fall. Um, I was shopping at West Elm and CB2. You're seeing this teal show up in a lot of the Christmas decor that's coming out for this year, which is in a video I'm coming out next week uh, discussing Christmas decor. Uh, so you're seeing a lot of teal in like bedding, you're seeing it in different decor pieces. My, If you saw my shop with me in Ikea for 2020 fall, uh, you saw that there were some teal pieces there too. So this color is very, very trendy right now. And I think aging teal is really gorgeous. I think it's overall a really good fit um, for their color of the year. I think it's a really good pick. But now let's go through some of the ways that you can combine some of these colors actually into a cohesive palette that's going to work for your home. So first up is the combination of Amazon Soil, Rosy Peach, and Silhouette. So you're definitely able to see sort of the purple undertones of Silhouette and Amazon Soil being kind of brought in together, as well as some of those red undertones are just really uh, coming through in this palette. I think this is a really gorgeous palette to work with. The next one I want to talk about is the combination of Jester Town Buff, Aegean Teal, Muslin, and Atrium White. So this creates like a really beautiful, natural, uh, sort of homey feel. I think you kind of really get through in some of these images what Benjamin Moore is trying to do for 2021. They're trying to make it a little bit more focused on the home because like we're all spending so much time at home so they're trying to make it really cozy, really warm. Um, I kind of really love this palette. I think another really beautiful palette that you could work with would be something like Foggy Morning, Atrium White, gray cashmere and silhouette. So this is kind of an example of sort of similar colors and I just think this is really, really gorgeous. So you're really sort of um, bringing in some of these really soft elements that you're seeing both in atrium white, gray cashmere and foggy morning so that they're really pale, really muted. I think it's really gorgeous. And silhouette is quite dark so you can see it provides like a really interesting contrast but it still has similar undertones to the other colors and so I think that works really well. Another beautiful combination would be to combine Amazon soil with Chestertown buff and atrium white. So really you're seeing some of those kind of purple elements in Amazon soil. I think really complementing something like Chestertown buff really well. 
Again, sometimes a purple and yellow combination can be very difficult to pull off, but I think they really do it here. I think pairing it with more neutrals and more paler tones, I think just really, really makes a serene, gorgeous light space that just really comes alive. Another option, which I kind of mentioned earlier, is Aegean Teal and Grey Cashmere and Atrium White. So Aegean Teal and Grey Cashmere to me are a really obvious combination because they sort of exist in the same area of the color wheel. They're sort of in this blue-green space. Um, and I think it works really well here because Aegean Teal is just a really more saturated blue-green while Grey Cashmere has a lot more white added to it. And another really great combination would be to use something like Amazon Soil, Silhouette, uh, Atrium White, and Foggy Morning. So I love this palette because I think it just really brings in some of those purple pinkish elements elements of Amazon soil and foggy morning really brings them together in a really gorgeous way. So that's it for me for today, guys. If you want more information on paints and color, I have a whole playlist right here for you to check out and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.